Hi, uh, this is Kyoko. I'm going to show you how to do a bird in a very easy way and uh, you can present a nice design of it. First, uh, let's draw the bird head and the beak. The head is like a rainbow curve line and uh, just try to do the beak very thin and long and also body uh, go down and with a uh, little circle eyeball also the wing uh, and the shoulder and uh, the wing there's a uh, zigzag line and uh, the back line just go down uh, we don't need to make sure exactly the wing and tail shape or how long, uh, what kind of uh, shape it is. We'll present that later, only use our watercolors. Now I just draw the other wing. We can see a part of it at the other side of the bird. Uh, let's do the outline. and You can use black color pencil. Also a line pen or a black sharpie. I'm going to use my black sharpie uh, to do this uh, line part. First, let's make this long big black color and uh, leave a thin highlights on the middle. I'll bring it a little closer so you can see the highlights on the middle of the beak. We draw a uh, eyeball, black eyeball inside the circle eye and uh, also leave a highlights inside the eyeball. The fur uh, on the head, top of the head, also whole body, we need to make sure it's uh, uh, one by one, very thin little lines, and uh, all have the same direction to make the bird fur really smooth. Do not stress with this part. Just flow your line pen and uh, make sure each line is uh, clear and thin. Most likely uh, all the darker area is surrounding bird eye and uh, uh, head and under the uh, wing and the back part, body back part. So you can see the bird's uh, forehead and the beak, which is really a dark area. And also uh, under the beak, uh, there's a little darker. Also uh, making some lines uh, surrounding the neck to emphasize whole head to give it the surface of the fur some dimension. Emphasize the base of the wing. Put some shadow on the back. Make sure each line nice and clean. Now uh, just put a few thin lines on the body and to make sure all the lines it flow with a curved line as the body line. 
Then we just trace out the lines smoothly. Put little short lines, uh, short heavy lines under the wing. There's no need much lines on the body, make it very light and thin. Draw some lines to emphasize the bird's paw uh, under the body. Also, the base of the tail. Uh, I like to use this kind of watercolor brush to do my uh, art. It's also very convenient for kids. So um, you can control your water just uh, by uh, push pushing your pen's body part. They have a flat brush and uh, also round brush. Uh, that you just can choose with your preference. I'm going to use blue first uh, to paint my bird wing. Because we are going to make a, a blowing art, so we need more water than usual. For this coloring step, uh, you don't need to think about too much. Just uh, simply put in your favorite color on the area of the bird wing. Um, remember to use more water than that normally you are using. And uh, you prepare for the blowing step. This is a really fun part to do with, uh, especially for kids. Let's put in more uh, water on the wind part. For the blowing part, uh, they always um, try to blow hard. Uh, let's just add more uh, color and water to help in as to blow. Now I'm going to make the second color. Uh, I'm trying to use purple to see how it looks like. You can use uh, any color that you like. Uh, it's all your choice. I just try to point the second color uh, into first color. Just put a little thinking about uh, your blowing direction. Make sure it works the way that you want it to. Some of details uh, you can add with your brush to add the effect. I choose a brown color to emphasize uh, where the wind, the edge of the wind. And blending uh, into 
the other color with water. Now let's uh, uh, color in the tail by choosing a blue color and uh, just stretching some long lines, make a direction, then blowing. I want to try some green. I want to try make some random lines, uh, just very free uh, curvy lines to the direction that I want and to see how it looks. If you did draw your bird pretty front, then you can make the tail direction to the back and uh, putting the long tail to the negative area and uh, making your whole art feel more balanced. It's just uh, require uh, your sense to design your whole uh, full of your art, how to place it on your paper. Add one more uh, darker color, a dark purple. Draw it a little bit more detail. Use water to soften some edge to make uh, some color to transition. Finally, uh, we complete our bird. The last step, which is uh, just grab your old toothbrush, then we 
use this as a, a tool to do the last part to dip some water uh, make sure it's not too much water and uh, choose a color I want to try this blue make sure it's not too dry just moving your one finger uh, from bottom of your brush tip to the top splash onto the paper surrounding the tip of wings also the tip of the tail just uh, be sure uh, put your finger from bottom moving to the top if you from top to push your brush tip to the bottom everything will splash on your face hope you not do a wrong direction Now, uh, I think we just uh, completed uh, this art project. I'm very happy you follow it to the end. Thank you for watching. Also, check out my other tutorials. Bye-bye.